Now we want to speak about uh, other type of circuits. So we want to be able to implement the AND and the OR operation. So let's study this circuit we have here. It's called the NAND gate. So let's pay attention to this name, NAND. It's not AND, it's NAND. It means not AND. So what is this thing? It means that we have an AND gate like this. And then the result of this operation is put into a NOT gate. So we can write this circuit in a let's say shortcut form, which is this. So this thing is called NAND. <coughs> We said we wanted to implement the AND gate and now we are implementing the NAND gate. Why it's like this? Because it can be demonstrated that with transistor logic it's not possible to create so-called positive logic. We can create only negative logic. So there is no circuit that we can build directly, let's say, in order to produce an AND gate. And then, if we need the end gate, how we can do? We have to play with the rules of the so-called Boolean algebra, like this De Morgan's law. So, Boolean algebra is the algebra which has been developed by Boole, who studied this thing first and basically invented all these things. And for instance, you can uh, understand that if you have a a uh, NOT gate and you start with a variable at the input which is X and that at the output you have the NOT of X and then you chain it with another NOT gate like this at the output of the second one you have again X so just to, a quick, uh, to do a quick example if X is 0 at this point you have one and if this is one it's an input of a not gate then you have zero again and similarly if you had one <coughs> so two not gates one after the other one doesn't change anything and actually any number of pairs of not gates one after the other one doesn't change anything so from this you already have a, an idea that uh, doing the so-called uh, digital synthesis uh, might be something which is not straightforward because you might have many combination of circuits that will produce the same truth table so for from starting fr uh, starting from a truth table and producing a, a circuit that will produce the truth table is not uh, let's say straightforward you might have more possibilities and because of this uh, very elementary example you might say that uh, you have an infinite number of possibilities so <clears throat> this circuit is a little bit difficult to analyze it takes time but uh, we can try to do one thing so I prepared a sort of uh, simple simulation of it so let's try to go here 